Hello, my name is Katiana Ballantyne. I am the City Councilor for Ward 7 and the current Somerville City Council President. 25 years ago, I chose to live in Somerville because there was lots of diversity here and the people who lived here seemed to like it that way. Since that time, I've lived in Somerville. I've raised a family. I took my MBA while living here. I have volunteered. I've become a community leader. I've become an elected official. During all of my time as an elected official, I've advocated for open, inclusive government, affordability, and jobs. But lately, I've committed to raise the bar of expectation. It is no longer good enough only to get along in Somerville. It is time to thrive in Somerville. For my part as president of the city council and as counselor, I remain committed to work to preserve diversity in our culture, in open green space, in housing, and to promote affordability and economic diversity. I got involved in politics because seven years ago, affordability was not strategically planned, equity not a priority, and I didn't feel we had a voice. I want you all to know I am with you from the beginning to the end to work on these with you to make Somerville thrive. We have accomplished much together for open, inclusive government, affordability, and jobs. Those values form our shared vision. It is our vision which has guided me as I consider each decision that I make. I always ask myself how each decision will advance our shared vision as your counselor and as president of the Somerville City Council. Today, I commit to raise the bar of our expectation to build upon our recent accomplishments, to honor our shared values and take them to a higher level. It is not enough anymore only to meet minimum standards because Somerville deserves to thrive. I've loved living in Somerville since I moved here 25 years ago when it seemed more affordable. It is because of all of you that I have stayed here. I chose Somerville to be my home because of the wonderful people who live here. I am the mother of two daughters, educated in the Somerville Public Schools, the wife of a very supportive husband. I'm an immigrant. I'm the first in my family to graduate from four-year college and get a master's degree. I've worked for 30 years in international business, startup companies, nonprofits, and in local government. I'm a community builder. You all are the challengers of the status quo, our activists, our brain trusts, and my neighbors who I ask to join me now to make Somerville really thrive. To truly thrive, we need to keep engaged and to keep working together for affordability, better housing, more local jobs, great schools, responsive planning and zoning, sustainability, open accessible government, and Somerville must be inclusive so that we will thrive together. Affordability is a coin of two sides. On one side of the coin is the cost of living, and on the other side of the coin is the income that comes from having a good job. I am committed to work to advance affordability by my words as a politician and by my actions. 20 years ago, I started working with low-wage earners and immigrants by giving them a pathway to increasing their skills and higher paying jobs, and work to add more affordable housing stock to the region and Somerville. For Somerville to thrive, we need to work together for both affordable living costs and for good jobs. We need to give residents the whole coin. Together, we've accomplished much to make Somerville affordable. We've passed the job linkage ordinance, to help Somerville residents to get the jobs created by Somerville Development, and then develop the talent equity plan. And we have a 20% affordable housing requirement that now housing developments will be inclusive. But we must do more for Somerville to thrive. 
Somerville can become a leader in creating good jobs with the right kind of development that will create jobs in Somerville that will help us pay for city services. We have accomplished much together to lay the foundation for creating new jobs for residents. Somerville has public transportation that will get even better, a diverse local workforce, excellent schools, great city services, police and fire departments that work hard and well to keep us safe. We've accomplished so much together for jobs, transportation, schools, and good government. However, over 75% of our budget is paid by residents through their real estate taxes. Home prices and rents are not affordable. And in 30 years, only one new office building was built in Somerville, which pays commercial taxes. So there's more work to do to thrive. To bring more businesses to Somerville, we need new commercial office space for new businesses, new zoning to require the highest possible percentage of commercial office space, the right kind of new businesses to create great local jobs and to share the cost of city services with residents. We need efficient city services to attract the right kind of development and the right kind of businesses to promote Somerville as open for business the biggest positive impact we can have on affordability, which helps the people who live here now, is by zoning for and building office commercial, which will bring much needed new revenue to the city. We can make all these things happen if we keep working together. We can make Somerville thrive. We have accomplished much to make housing available but there is more to do before Somerville can truly thrive. We've added nearly 100 new affordable housing units citywide. In Ward 7, the neighborhood approved a project plan for Clarendon housing development to provide nearly 300 low and affordable housing units along with nearly 300 market rate rental units. A home rule petition approved by the state legislator the rebuilt public housing alone would serve over 400 women and children who are our neighbors. We need to find a way to keep Somerville affordable to our neighbors at Clarendon Hill. And there is more work to be done to help women and children who are disproportionately affected by inadequate housing. We need more affordable housing projects in order for Somerville to thrive. We created the new Office of Housing Stability to enact policies to preserve and expand affordable housing and ensure that tenants know their rights and are able to access the myriad of housing and homelessness prevention resources. We need all our large developers, whether for-profit or non-profit, to engage and listen to our residents. These developers need to work with our ideas of land use. The brain trust is in Somerville. More needs to be done before Somerville can truly thrive. Vision Zero policies need to improve our multimodal road safety. Improving safety for all road users, whether on bicycles or on foot, in vehicles or aboard public transit. Climate change is real. I would like you to know that I'm with you from the beginning to the end to make Somerville sustainable. Unlike a certain prominent politician, I do actually believe in climate change. I do actually believe in science. I have worked to limit climate change by my actions. I don't own a car by choice for my family of four for over a decade. I bicycle and use transit. I super insulated my old Somerville house and I've advocated for the Green Line extension starting, starting nearly two decades ago. We have accomplished many things together that will make Somerville more sustainable, but there is much more to be done. I proposed a total plastic bag ban with your advocacy and it is in place now. 
We supported the environmental advocacy of Mothers Out Front and created a municipal ordinance to eliminate gas leaks. I proposed an ordinance or proposed ordinances for green minimum ratio, dark sky. I've worked for more open space, more green space, more parks and recreation in every possible way. We still don't have enough open space to thrive and we need to keep working on this very important issue. With you, our activists, I proposed having a new chapter dedicated to sustainability for our new zoning code, which started with adding a new sustainability section to the new zoning for Union Square. It should be implemented citywide. At Greentown Labs, I spoke at the Green Carpet event, announcing Somerville Climate Forward Plan, which I supported addressing climate change crafted by you, our community, neighbors who participated in the Commission on Energy Use and Climate Change. This plan incorporates many more goals of sustainability. I'm already working with some of you to turn this plan into action items now. We can all get behind this plan because we need to be sustainable in order to truly thrive in Somerville. To truly thrive, we need a compassionate and engaged citizenry. We have this with you. I have witnessed your compassion and respect of others to make Somerville inclusive. You pack backpacks filled with food for school children to take home Fridays for the weekends. You don't want them to go hungry. I've witnessed at many small businesses like Renee's Cafe, Knight's Mule, Diesel Cafe, where their employees give our homeless residents free breakfasts. Somerville pedestrians respectfully ask our homeless people on the street if they need food, what they want, what they would like to eat, and then buy the food for them. Our high school students organized and led walks against gun violence in solidarity of their fellow high school students killed in Florida. We upheld rights for transgender people. You were appalled, as I was, that some would like to take equal rights away. Come on, why wouldn't we uphold this? We did, as the recent November election showed us. We respect all. My pronouns are she, her, hers. We participated in a vigil to show we are with all our citizens, every one of us, in opposition of anti-Semitism and against all forms of xenophobia. When any one of us is abused for our religion or our race or ethnicity, in that case, we all suffer. We must all stand together in opposition to this evil. So today, let's raise the bar. Let's take Somerville to another level. Let's work together to make Somerville thrive. I'd be honored for your vote in the 2019 November general election. Thank you again to the Somerville Media Center for providing this important service, and thank you all for watching.